Scientists have warned us about the effects of global warming. There is robust evidence that the planet's ecosystem will become more hostile as carbon dioxide concentration in the atmosphere increases. We know about the droughts and floods, heat waves and superstorms, melting ice and sea level rise. But did you know that climate change is having another insidious effect on the very fuel that makes us live and work? We are talking about food. From the chapatis we eat to the rice we consume, climate change is influencing it all. Puzzled? Here is the explanation. In 2016, carbon dioxide concentrations in the atmosphere crossed 400 parts per million for the first time in 4 million years. In fact, scientists are predicting that by 2050, carbon dioxide levels would reach 550 parts per million. That development is going to affect everything on earth, including what goes into our stomachs. In recent years, two landmark research papers were published. Both investigated the effects of atmospheric CO2 level on the nutritional properties of the food we eat. First, mathematical biologist Irakli Loladze compared CO2 exposure to the overall concentration of 25 minerals in 130 different plant varieties. He found a reduction in mineral content by 8% and a consequent rise in carbohydrate levels net result the plant is less nutritionally valuable to you and me next samuel myers of the harvard school of public health found something even more distressing wheat grown at elevated co2 levels had 6.3% lesser protein 9.3% lesser zinc and 5.1% lesser iron zinc deficiency can exacerbate pneumonia and malaria it is already linked to some 800000 deaths each year among children under 5 meanwhile iron deficiency is the primary cause of anemia which contributes to 1 in 5 maternal deaths worldwide and a rise in carbohydrates will cause diabetes and cardiovascular disease and let us join the dots further wheat maize and soya beans all of which featured in myers study are relatively low in iron and zinc but here is the catch in poorer societies where meat is rarely eaten they are a major source of minerals about 2.4 billion people currently get at least 60% of their zinc and iron from these staples which brings us to rice it is relied upon globally by 3 billion people often the poorest as a primary source or 50% of their daily calories myers study showed that zinc iron and protein in rice could go down if co2 levels rise now add another to that list vitamins according to a very recent study Rice grown with increased CO2 levels contains 17% less vitamin B1, 17% less vitamin B2, 13% less vitamin B5 and 30% less vitamin B9. In other words, your rice will be devoid of vitamins. Which means the healthy maintenance of your cells, tissues and organs as well as metabolism comes under a cloud a great dark cloud want to prevent such a scenario then the choice is yours do you want your fossil fuels or you want this fuel think about it <laughs>